my channel. I'm Jasmine and today I'm going to be doing my one month postpartum update and I have baby Aaliyah with me right here. So she's going to be making noises I'm sure. Say hi. Baby Aaliyah is one month postpartum. One month postpartum. She's one month old. She'll be two months old on the 20th of uh, this month and yeah I'm just going to be like telling you guys how it's been and you know how I'm healing up um, post c-section. So yeah, like I said, she's one month old and this first month of having her has been amazing. I'm so surprised, um, and my daughter's over here too, if, um, if you hear other noise, but yeah, my first month has been so good, so smooth. She's such a good baby. I'm a good baby. She sleeps pretty good through the night. Let me just mention that first. From the day she was born, you know, she sleeps, all newborns, they sleep pretty much throughout the day. But to my surprise, she actually sleeps really good. Even though she sleeps during the day, she sleeps really good at night too. And um, yeah, so she just does so good. I've been having such an easy time with her. I can probably count two, maybe three times. I don't even think it's been three times. Two times that she's wanted to like stay up, you know, at night. And um, she doesn't cry or anything. She's just up and wants to like look around and wants to like look at me. So yeah, that part's been very easy. So yeah, um, as far as the other kids, they enjoy her, they love her. They're always, my son, he's always trying to give her kisses. Um, and yeah, she loves them. She likes, you can tell how now as she's older, she's a month now, so her eyes can connect connect with the other kids and she follows them um, when, they, when they get up in her face and then when they move, she follows them. So yeah, that's been her. She's developing so well. She's getting quite chunky as you can see. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, she's quite chunky. I am breastfeeding. I don't know if I told you guys that. Well, yeah, because I've done videos, like updates, and I um, did a uh, breastfeeding video. So, yeah, I am breastfeeding. So, she's getting a lot of those nutrients. So, yeah, she eats good. She latched on good from the very beginning. Um, she's just been growing, and she's starting to make more noises now. And um, she's basically just an amazing baby, and I'm so thankful for her. I know I was always telling you guys how I just did not want another baby and I did not want another baby and I was so scared I didn't know how it was gonna be but she's such a good baby she's such a good baby and now she's starting to pull hair as you can see she's probably getting hungry because she just woke up from her nap so I might have to feed her really quick are you hungry she's looking at me like you did you tried it but yeah as far as um feeding I feed her about every two hours she eats a lot you guys I'm she's always on my boobs like all the time so she eats a lot that's all I don't I, I don't like really keep track of it I know when she was first born it was like every hour then it went to like every hour and a half now it's like every two to three hours um and at nighttime she probably sleeps for about two to two and a half hours before she wakes up to eat again so that's very good. I'm not like complaining. I've been on maternity leave since October leave for two months and I go back in a month. Actually, I go back in a month from today. So hopefully by then her sleeping is a lot better, but it's, it's really good so I'm not complaining. Um, and I don't feel like extremely exhausted during the next day. Um, yeah. So yeah, as far as me, I've been doing okay. Um, like, I, like I was saying, it took about a month for me to start feeling a lot better. Uh, when I, once I hit the four week mark, I started being able to walk around more, bend over a little bit better, interact with the other kids a lot better. Um, I just started being able to give them baths again and um, you know, just walk around, do like grocery shopping. I still take it easy. I try not to lift too much and I try not to, um, you know, just overwork myself. My cut looks amazing. My doctor is amazing and he did a very good job with my C-section. Um, it looks great. It's pretty, it's, it's basically healed up by now, at least on the outside. But I know it's, you know, I want to make sure that my stomach and stuff is healed on the inside as well. And um, my stomach is not as swollen anymore. It's like, it's a tad bit swollen still. Um, I was a lot, I was very insecure after having my c-section because your stomach is swollen and you know you can't I didn't want to wear or put any pressure on my stomach with one of those like um, things but I know sometimes the doctors actually give you the compressor thing to help with the swelling and all that 
But I was just so terrified. Like, I didn't know what to expect after having a C-section. Um, so I didn't want nothing on my stomach, nothing touching my stomach, even clothes. Like, my, even my leggings were uncomfortable to wear with um, my C-section. What are you thinking at me? But yeah, I've been doing great. Everything's been going so, so good. I'm a little nervous because I'm going to have to put her in daycare soon. And I don't want to, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. I got to go back to work. And with my other kids, I was able to stay home until they were about eight months um, before they had to go to daycare. Well, with my daughter, she was in daycare when she was four months, but then I stayed home until she, after that, I worked for a little while and I was, um, she was eight months when she went back to daycare and my son, he was eight months before he ever went to daycare. So it's gonna be the first time that she's like, you know, I have a baby going to daycare so early, but you know, I'm just gonna pray about it and hopefully everything's good. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. I don't have much to say. Everything's been amazing. Her feeding is good. Her growth is good. Her height, her weight, all that is good. She goes to the doctor on December 8th and I go on December 9th for my six week checkup. And yeah, that's basically it. So. I will probably do updates here and there on my channel. And yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss out any more videos from me. And I will see you guys later.